We're going to go hemorrhoid. It's probably a hemorrhoid. What should she do? Hot compresses, preparation age, anusol, hot towels, time. I thought anusol was for like uh, to- toothaches. A- anus, anusol. Anus. anus sol. Oh, my God. Yeah. wonder why it tastes so yeah, bad. Yeah, that's good. No, it tastes okay. like pure ass. Yeah. I'm like, wow, this stuff better be good. Because it's like someone, work. Someone, someone crapped in my mouth. Wow. Nothing, huh? A- a- anusol. 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 Wow. Why do that? <laughs> really? You have to do that? What? Well, do what? I don't know. You got to put the word anus right in your well, medication. So people won't brush with it. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Not everyone. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Wow. Even even with the name anus in the name of the product. Well, what's the stuff yeah. you put on your What's the stuff you put on your toothache? Ambisol. All right. <laughs> so that doesn't go in your abdomen. <laughs> So I put a little anus, <laughs> put a little anus sauce in the mouth. That's fine. <laughs> Toothache went away. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, and I put some crest up my ass and I went to bed. <laughs> oh my god. No, I I uh, I had I've never had a hemorrhoid. I did have my jackass friend Ray talk me into having a hemorrhoid. Oh, once. that was your that was your carbuncle. that was my carbuncle. Yeah. And he was like, "You better, uh, you better get some anus salt. <laughs> you better, you better get some preparation age." And I remember at the time. And by the way, here's how you know you're a loser. You're um, thirty. Yes, I am thirty at the time. Oh, I, I remember where I was, and I remember the celebration I had. Jimmy and I went out and ate Mexican. We ate like forty oh, that's, pounds of Mexican that's food. A good thing at the ce- no, that was after. That was in celebration. <laughs> da, 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 For releasing the carbuncle. That's oh, right. Oh yeah, that's right. Triumphal. Yes. My my buddy, the hat dance. My buddy Ray had me convinced it was a, ham- a hemorrhoid, yeah. and really what it was is a giant zit. Yeah. And so his first it's thing, a huge abscess. It's a perirectal abscess. Really, it's bad times. Yeah, is what it is. It is exquisite pain. Yeah. You're talking to a guy. Look, I've had my shoulder dislocated on. Yeah. Football field, it's about the same pain, except for people are laughing. And Ray, Ray, Ray first says, You got to push it back up there with your finger. Oh, so I'm like, All right, let me. Ah! <laughs> it's like, Oh my god, it's crazy, nutty pain. Yeah, people don't realize it. And when that area gets irritated, you don't realize you're winking uh, every time you breathe. You, you don't, your, your you, anus yeah, winks. No, it's a that. Lot. It's like it's that way. Like when you crack a rib, you don't understand. You know how you don't you know how often you cough or right, sneeze or, or, or laugh breathe, or yeah, whatever. Right. Your your anus is connected uh, to everything. You don't raise your. Fu- ooh, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Get my f out of there, would you, Anderson? <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, I got angry about oh, it. Oh, you don't raise your eyelids. I didn't get the whole F word out, yeah, but the point is I'm a man of passion. <laughs> about your anus. That's, you, you, that's do not, your passion you do not emerges. raise an eyelid without yeah. feeling some stress down there. Yeah, some winking. So uh, I tried to push it in. It didn't work. So he said, <laughs> go get some preparation age. I went to the mark. It was like 685. Could you, could you walk? Could you walk at that point? I used, uh, I used a Lark, one of those you know, electric yeah, yeah, wheelchairs. Lark, yeah. yeah. Uh, but you're standing up because you couldn't I was sit carried down. to the market, and then once I got in, I used a motorized one. Yeah. Uh, yeah, because it would scrape the other cheek right. when I swung. It was brutal. <laughs> and so I, I got the uh, I got the, the preparation age, and I remember, like like I said, here's how you know you're a loser. You're you're 30 years old. Your your ass felt like uh, it's been shot with a musket ball, and you're looking at something, and you're going, <sighs> Wow, it's almost six dollars. Yeah. Hmm. Does it come in a smaller size? Like, is there some sort of vending machine that has preparation age where I just get a little handful before I leave? I put, I could bring like a, a wet nap and uh. into it, and I'll just carry it home in my hand because I don't need a whole tube. Yeah, uh, wow. Or maybe I can buddy up with someone. Anyone else buying uh, <laughs> preparation age? How about we go in the parking lot? Just give me a little. Yeah, just give me a little rope. Squirt. Give me a little rope. What's that? Eighty cents. Well, just give me a nice little rope. Not less, buddy. I'm not going to rub it on your ass. It, it's, I'm legit. Just give me a little rope of that stuff. What do you say? I'm just saying, wow. f- four dollars, you know. Yeah. I'm gonna have to think about. It. So anyway, now I'm rubbing the preparation H on my carbuncle for uh, eh, three days, and I'm in a exquisite, exquisite pain. Yeah, exquisite pain. It's not then, going away. Then you went into operation mode, and that's when Surgery. I said uh, it was like a raid on Entebbe. I said we're going in. We don't negotiate anymore. Then you were Thomas Edison, we're setting going up in. mirrors and lighting surfaces. Well, and- it is hard to find that part of your body with your eye. <laughs> your eye can't find that part of your body. You know what I mean? Right. Your face can't find right. it. Right. I didn't have a doctor. I didn't right. know anybody. And here's the other thing, too. Oh, you're, you're let Ray do it? Piss poor right. and you have no, no insurance or anything. You may know somebody like knows a doctor, but they're like a friend. So it's like, and it's a chick. Yeah. You know what it was? It was uh, Mary Coffee. Oh, yeah. Oh, she would have been good. 
Yeah, but this is a, this is this She's dude. She's an ER doctor, though. This She's is good. dude I knows. Old lady gonna be spreading my cheeks. Uh, she does stuff like that all day. I worked with her for years. It's, I've been out to dinner and stuff with her. It's She's weird. On, it's relax. weird. No, I wasn't gonna get into that with her. So that's the only person I knew. So. By the way, she would not have done to you what you did to yourself. Well, I'll tell you what I did. So I got <laughs> I had a full length mirror and. Uh, I got my pants down and uh, I got myself positioned, but I couldn't. I couldn't see it, so I took a flashlight and I bounced it off the mirror and bounced it uh, into the tukai <laughs> area, and that's when I saw the culprit. And as was I was it peeking, it w it was, and uh, it was it had, you know a little snow cap on. It looked like the Matterhorn. And uh, right as I Mount St. Helens, uh, right as I started, it was smoldering. Yeah, <laughs> and right as I started to, uh, I had a bunch of reporters set up on my balls. <laughs> they thought they're out of harm's way satellite truck so uh right as i started to go for it it just blew oh just, it, it just even, blew you didn't even no do no i didn't I, w I was i was getting ready to do some piercing and some prodding and but stuff. just from so all my, the, gr the my grunting idiot and groaning buddy and... right convinced me it was a uh, roy yeah, so yeah, i yeah. didn't know what to do yeah. and i was checking it out and I was, I was bouncing the flashlight off the mirror you know that, that's how the uh egyptians that's how they theorized uh, the egyptians got light into the got pyramids, light into the pyramids yeah. same way that's right two thousand years later huh you come on out buddy spontaneously that's right and what happened and it blew and it it blew and it was just like and then it looked like the end of a gay porn film it's like oh my god it's like someone just finished on me it was horrible i was and then and then and i was like oh and i and i stood up and it was like that scene from tommy where uh where um uh, roger daltrey can see again yeah like i'm free yes. started